Namaste everyone. Myself Dr. Samya and this is Dr. Namita. We are over here today to demonstrate Surya Namaskara. I know there are already thousands and lakhs of Surya Namaskara videos that are trending on YouTube and many other channels. Uh, we are actually doing this for the reference of our patients. We generally recommend Surya Namaskara for all age groups, let's say like about 12 years up to 60, 65 as well. There are people who are uh, 70 plus and they are still practicing Surya Namaskara. Why we are very much particular about Surya Namaskara? Because it includes all of your body muscles come into a participation when you do all these asanas. As you already know, it is a 12 asanas and a salutation to Surya Deva, that is sun. So today, Dr. Namita will be demonstrating us. I'll be just giving her a command so you can make a note of it. I'll not be very strict, I'll not be like you know pressurizing that asana has to be done in that way. No, you can uh, just make it to your comfort zone, maybe your knee bending, uh, tummy touching the floor. That alterations can be done, there won't be any problem with it. So let's start. The first step starts with pranamasana, where she is in a position. Pranama, as you all know that you do the namaskara, just uh, be in an easy breath. If possible, it is also good if you could um, control the breathing. Like there are particular inhale, exhale commands when you are doing the asanas. If, if that is not possible, that's also fine. You can just do with your regular breathing as well. Okay. So let's start with it. First asana starts with Hasta Uttasana, where she is trying to stretch her hands and it should be straight, how much ever. If you could stretch a bit of your uh, upper back that's also good this is the first step where you are inhaling now you will go to the second step exhaling padahastasana bending down here you can see if, if possible you can also touch the floor with a complete palm if not possible you can just touch it with the fingers is also fine her knees is straight so some people have a knee pain if at all if they bend that is also fine okay this is called Pada Hastasana. Next up, Ashva Sanchalanasana, where she has put her one leg back. So she is looking forward. So when we do the uh, second part, it comes like the that leg will only taken uh, front. Now she is in the she has taken her left leg back. This is called Ashva Sanchalanasana. In this position, you should be inhaling. Next comes Palakasana, the other leg will also be kept back. Here you will be holding your breath. Then Ashtangasana, where she will be exhaling. Where? This is the thing, her complete body is in a center line. This is like her toes, knee, hip, gluteal is up. The stomach is not touching, her chin is touching. Touching the floor. So this is in a one line. This is Ashtanga Namaskara when she is exhaling the breath. Next comes as a Bhujangasana. Where that is an inhale. So here some people will also have a knee pain. They can touch the knee down. How much ever they can lift the chest up and chin up straight looking forward. This is the best asana for the uh, any kind of a back pain if they have. But if at all you already have any disc related issues, then uh, don't stretch it more. Okay. Next comes Parvatasana, where you will be exhaling. This is kind of a uh, you know an inverted V shape. So the people who have the the spine spine will be the erect, and you can look it as a V shape. So how much ever you can keep your knee straight without bending. So she will be exhaling. Next comes Ashva Sanchalanasana. We are inhaling. This is a, we are going to the back. The same steps. Next Padahastasana. Exhale. Next comes Hasta Uttasana. Inhale. And comes back to the Pranamasana. Exhale. So this is one left leg she showed you. So 
when you do the next thing that then it goes your right leg back so that completes a one round we have a yoga practitioners who does it like you know a one or one round some people will do it for 21 rounds so we say you can do it either way so when you do it with your left and the right together then it is called complete one round so i hope this video will help you to uh, understand the surya namaskar in a easy way so don't get confused like there are many things i have to inhale exhale if you get confused with the breathing techniques that's okay you can do it with a regular breathing as well thanks for watching thank you